my making in knitting, sewing and mending. My name is Amy and you can find me on Instagram at Amy J Creations. I'm coming to you from Jaja Warren country in Victoria, Australia, and it is a very humid hot day. We had 50, oh, just a little less than 50 millimeters of rain last night and it has been much needed. We haven't had rain for over a month. Feels like over a month, but maybe not that long. Um, it probably is over, over a month. Anyway, now I'm rambling already. <laughs> It's been a while since I have sat down and I have got a lot to catch you up on. I've been so excited to hear your comments, those who are trying to get through their whips as well. And um, it ha I have been adding sewing projects to, uh, whips to my um, lists of things to do recently. So I have a few sewing projects um, to show you as well as my knitting projects. First up, I have my list of knitting whips here. So all the way back, my first episode, I had 21 projects and now I am down to nine. I actually was down to six and then I added uh, three projects to my list. So getting there, but um, not quite. <laughs> um, one of the projects that I've almost finished, but I'm calling it a finished project because all I have to do is thread in some ends and do a block um, the sweater. So this is the Tegna or Ted Tegna. I don't know if you pronounce the G. Um, sweater by um, Boyland Networks, Caitlin Hunter. And I've done it in a linen cotton blend in this dusty pink. It's a little bit pinker than it's sort of coming out. Sort of coming out a bit grey on the video. I played major chicken yarn with this project. I did the sleeves shorter and I did a different, I did a pico um, edging to my sleeves. With this one here, the second sleeve, I had to use a tiny bit of this yarn here to cast off the picots. Um, yes, so almost, almost there. I, um, I love it. It's just beautiful and it sits just, uh, just below my waist when I'm wearing it. Nice and cool with the lace on my belly for a hot summer's day. So I, um, I already blocked this um, to see whether I liked the first sleeve. So I've already blocked the entire sweater. I've just got to block this sleeve here and thread in some more of the ends. So I'm calling this a finished project because it will be finished after this video has been recorded. So yay to that one. I have also, I've cast on and cast off three of these little um, bear decorations just before Christmas and I gave one each to my kids. My son can't find his at the moment. It's probably in one of his boxes. We're currently doing some um, renovations inside the house. So the kids have packed up most of their belongings. But here are the girls bears. They're so cute. Um, because it's been some time, you, I will put the names of the projects of the knitting patterns on the screen and down below so you can find them there. I can't remember what these ones are called. 
but they were super quick and very cute and a good way to use up some of my ribbon scraps that I love. So there's those. I also cast off, or what do you say for crochet? Crochet it off. Cast off, you cast off one of these soap savers. I've actually actually made two, but I had one in the making. Well, I can hear a, um, a helicopter floating around out there. So just a little soap saver to put all the little scraps of soap and I'm just going to whack some beads on the ends here and then pop this in my gifting box. So that is finished and I had that on my, my project list as well. And another finished project which has been waiting for a while is this little quilt here that I made out of um old bed sheets and and a baby blanket which is inside i don't know if you can hear that but the helicopter's right over the house right now so i will pop a photo in of um this quilt it's just a lap quilt or a cot quilt i just wanted to have a few um a few warm quilts to use in the winter time or in between seasons that aren't um, wool. I find the wool gets really really dusty and um, so having some cotton ones just a little bit less um, dusty in the winter time. So yeah that I, I hand stitched this one it was my first one that I hand stitched and it was really difficult to hand stitch through these tightly woven fabrics and the um, baby blanket that's inside so I think in future I love the look of the crinkle of the hand stitch but in future I will machine stitch these um, repurposed quilts because it really hurt my fingers it was really sore. Just the, the pulling out of the needle rather than the pushing in was the pulling out of the needle really hurt. So there are my finished projects. Next we have whips. So I finished, let's grab it. I finished the body of my Birkin sweater. So I separated, did the, I followed the pattern and um, did a split hem. And I'm really, I'm quite happy with the colour work. I, I realised later on, um, when I'd finished the colour work part that the blue wasn't quite isn't quite standing out and the yellow isn't quite standing out um, against the grey and now I know the trick of taking a photo of your yarn um, and turning it as a black and white picture and then you can see whether the colours are different enough to achieve um, Oh, the con if they contrast enough um, to achieve something like this so the green is just far out outstands the gray so you can see the color work but someone told me that it looks like a watercolor painting so I love it even more now and I'm very grateful for that comment and so I've just cast just um, attached for the first sleeve and I haven't worked on it much at all because it's hot and this is a real um, rustic wool and yeah it's just too too hot and sticky to be working on a sweater um, I did find time however over the, the uh, over the Christmas break so um, just before Christmas or during December I found time to cast on a couple of projects so I cast on 
my dream project and this is how much I've done <laughs> this is going to be there is how many stitches were there like two three hundred and seventy stitches on here I've got loads and loads of um, stitch markers this is for the house, house, uh, house dressing dress the dress of the beautiful um, uh, God, my, my mind today the beautiful houses along the edge of the dress um, the color work houses color work um, so yeah I've started it I'm haven't been working on it very much um, after or well, in January I haven't been working at it on it at all because it's just too hot and I've been sewing a lot more than knitting right now um, my other project that I cast on is the garden gate sweater so I have just started the yoke color work and again I cast this on um, and haven't really touched it this month I really like the subtle very variation in these two um, colors um, I love this purpley pink color I can't wait to wear this in winter and I am going to finish it by then <laughs> and get it off my list the dress however I don't know we'll, we will see we will see I've also started I have decided to do the year of gnomes year of gnomes um, knit along making little gnomes you can make as many as you want it's um, who's running it uh, imagine imagine designs oh sorry guys I will put it on the screen and I've started making my January gnome I planned to make one a month but I'm not sure how if I'm being um, overzealous with that idea um, however I plan to finish this in the next three days so this is just the hat and I need a body on this with the face so I this pattern is called gnome pun intended <laughs> So I'm working on that one and it, I'm just using all the scraps in my um, in my stash trying to stash down um, my yarns so that's what I've been knitting on um, but not really knitting on because it's so hot I have also got two more whips um, sewing projects that I started I started this quilt I dyed this naturally dyed the fabrics I naturally dyed them with leaves uh, last year or the year before the, let's just face it the last two years have amalgamated into one and I can't decipher between 2020 and 2021 <laughs> I hope 2022 is a little bit different but so far I have not left the house I haven't real. I haven't even gone into our local town for bef before Christmas for a month but I we, I've left the house four times in the last month no I, or I went to, we went to Christmas so after Christmas five times it feels good I always do this in January I always home down really slowly into the holiday mode and I just spend time in my garden and why go to the shops when you've got food in the garden and I just use what we have and um, my husband does you know he's been going out to get wood and things like that so he buys certain um, things that we might need um, but maybe once a week, which normally I do the shop once a week. 
but yeah it just it I love January for its slowness and but I'm ready I'm ready to go into town um, and I might see some friends but a lot of people are sick at the moment so can't go visiting so anyway rambling on about life this is the beautiful quilt and I have pinned it it is a very large quilt so it's doubled over here another lap one this is all linen and then I've backed it with this beautiful sunflower fabric and I'm just going to do freeform quilting hand quilting on this I'm really excited about it I want to do some some circles and some leaf patterns and just just really going to go slow on this quilt and take my time and just be really you know be able to just be very artistic with it and <laughs> just do what I wish and then I've got another one here that I'm trying to use scraps and bits and bobs so I've it's all organic cotton except for this one here so I made these block, this block print, this block quilt, quilt. I made it maybe, I don't know, four years ago. And then um, I think two years ago I added this bit and then I've just added this and added the back, just the check back. And I'm just gonna do just, um, just hand sew line stripes in this. So, that one will be a quicker quicker project to finish than this hand dyed one that I want to go slower with so I'm really excited to have these on the go and I might have the top one finished by um, next time maybe who knows I've also got a few other tops that uh, quilt tops that I've been working on um, trying to work through all the scrap fabric. I um, have a bit of mending to show you but I wanted to talk, no I'll show you the mending first. So I have these fisherman pants that I, I've got two pairs of fisherman pants that I wear in the garden. I just find they're the most flexible to squat while I'm weeding and move around in the garden. Um, and I just I just find jeans and that are too restricting um, so I have these fisherman pants and these were a bright sort of a deep bright purple if that makes sense um, so I dyed them with a natural dye this lovely green and I had ripped the pocket on them so I have just stitched on some scrap fabric I had onto there and a little one onto the cuff of the pants also the pants were very um, um, worn at the ends so I've just put a binding in and re-hemmed the, the bottom of the pants so that was a quick and fun mend to do Next I mended some of Hazel, my youngest, my nine-year-old, some of her pants. And these ones are her favourite mushroom and my favourite. They are so cool. They should come in adult sizes. They are so awesome. I mended the knee and I did a little mend on her bottom. And a few little holes here and there on this piece. So she can wear these again, which is great. And another pair of her pants that I'd previously mended. So I've previously done this big mend on, but I needed to do a few more mends on, on the, the knees. So I had to re-stitch, re-enforce re, um, the, um, the pink fabric I had sitting behind because there were some more holes that, came up and then this was wearing so I just popped a, a little felt um, patch on her knee there so she's got those pants to wear now too 
and then two of my dishcloths that I knitted a lot, um, maybe six years ago still still going well they had holes in them so I mended the holes with just some the same cotton that I would have um, or similar cotton that I would have um, knitted these with so they're ready to go back into the mix um so one more thing um i want to show you some acquisitions i recently got the january self-care pamper box from natural fiber arts and these little minis came in the box pretty pinks I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but I really I really love I really love them so not that I need more yarn but it was really lovely to receive a box of lots of treats to pamper myself with so highly recommend looking at their um, their shop one more moment I've remembered one thing I also got a, a cardigan worth, cardigan's weight worth of yarn and one, um, one different colour from um, Campo Verde uh, Alpacas, which is a farm very, an alpaca farm very, very, very close to me. Um, I am good friends with Rita and it's so soft and so lovely and I am going to make myself another uh, Roma cardigan I think that's what it is um, I've made a grey one for myself and a purple varia variation scrap one for um, Charlotte my eldest so I want to make a a brown one because I have nothing in brown um, and then I've purchased this one to make a beanie for myself so when it cools down I will cast on these so I have those awaiting me as well to work with now I have been listening to the most amazing podcast over on I've been listening to it on Spotify but I think you can find it most places most podcast apps it is called let me declutter and organize your sewing space and I never knew there were seven mindsets to why we clutter why we hold on to things and she goes through all of the reasons we hold on to um, items to me made items and to all of our fabric and our yarn and our trinkets that go along with all of our crafts and I've started like just listening to the podcast just started oh, it started recognize I started to recognize where my mindset was with with clutter and why I hold on to um, things and what what mindsets resonated with me and <laughs> I've started to put it to every aspect of the house as we've been doing this um, renovating I've been chipping away at every part of the house and my studio and getting rid of things, moving things on, finding good homes for these items because I'm very conscious I don't want it just to go to landfill. Um, recycling and decluttering my life and I, I am yet to approach some of the ideas that she has like I should only have five projects on at one go. I need to make a master list of all of my projects not not just this not just this knitting um, list but I plan to write down everything 
every single thing. And I think one of my projects that I need to include in the list of five that I have at any one time is my garden. Cause that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to care for the garden, for my flower and veggie garden. And I mean, we've got a very big garden, but the other side of our house is a, a beautiful garden that my husband takes care of mostly, but it is sort of overgrown with weeds this summer. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited about, I, th I think I'm going to revamp this whole whip challenge that I set myself and extend it to all of the crafts that I have going on. Focus each month on only four projects. Once I've finished a project, I can um, I can move on and add an, I can add another one. But one big thing that um, that is mentioned in the podcast is um, uh, just one thing that yeah really resonates with me is will if if you saw that in a shop now would you buy it now? So if I saw that fabric right now, would I buy it right now? And I can see many, many, many <laughs> fabrics up there that I would not buy right now. So get rid of them. So <laughs> I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to work through. I've got my fabrics sort of, there's not a lot of fabric, but I've, well, I say that, but you know, there is a lot of fabric up there that I'm probably never going to use. Um, so I'm going to work through the fabric slowly and then I'm going to go through the yarn as well and slowly work around the studio. Um, they recommend to take everything out, get everything out and put it into piles and I just can't do that right now while our house is in a, a bit of disarray with the renovations that we're doing. Um, so I'm just going to chip away at it and I think that's better for me. I don't have, I've had my chunk of time to be able to do something like this. Um, but I think I, I just have little bits of time now as the school year starts and everything gets busier. By the way, I've got a house to myself for the first time in a long while. So, um, yeah, it's, it's nice and quiet right now, but there's not a lot of time between the homeschooling and my business starting up a again now for the year and the garden and the farm. Um, so just chipping away sounds good to me. It's not overwhelming that idea of chipping away at decluttering. So I'm really, I'm really very excited. One other thing, um, one other thing when I look at my knitting um, projects right now is that I can see at least two projects. Yeah, I've got two projects on here, a red shawl and a pink cardigan. I don't want, I don't want to do them. And if I don't want to do them, why are they there? I'm just going to un undo them and move on because that, yeah, it's not, it's not worth having around. So then I will be down to seven projects in my knitting, in the knitting projects. And that sounds so much nicer than the 21 that I started with last year. So yay. I'd love to hear how you are all going with your projects and whether you've finished a lot of UFOs recently. Um, or whether you've cast on a few more like I have. Um, yeah, and, and go and check out that um, podcast. It is really good. I've just been listening to it in the background as I've been potting around the studio. And I found naturally I've just started putting things aside. I'm like, yep, don't need that, don't need that. So I really highly recommend going over and checking that podcast out. And 
I thought I was going to talk for so much longer. I haven't gone into detail about anything. I will put all the details of um, of my projects below. So, and you could also, or I might just put the link to my Ravelry page. And if you need me to let you know yarns or anything, um, please let me know so I can, I, I will adjust the, um, the down box below so that you can see them if you can't access Ravelry. But right now with life being really busy, I have to try and keep things simple. So, um, so yeah, I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your January and I will see you sometime in February. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and please send me a comment. Let me know how you're going.